You there, Trojan. How noble of you to clear all these off for us. You are truly a warrior of great honor. Yes, you. Do you see any other brave warriors doing dishes? <clears throat> Allow me to aid you. Everyone else seems to be just concerned with partying before tomorrow. Do you understand the importance of hard work? How dare you say that about yourself? A fine hero. You're taking responsibility when no one else wants to. I'd argue you'd make a fine general. <sighs> Anyone can be trained. What on earth are you even doing here if you're not a warrior? You're only here because they needed someone to do their dirty work? You're able-bodied. You're young. Strapping. You can do anything those meatheads can do. All great heroes have humble origins. Do you know the tale of Hercules? Hmm. What are they teaching people these days? Uh, fine. He was a great man. He was born of Zeus and a mortal woman. And Zeus, as you probably know, likes to, shall we say, enjoy the company of many women. If I ever see that bastard in my room, I'm beating him with an axe. Anyways. He was a simple shepherd for most of his days. However, one day, due to the anger of Hera, his namesake, she drove him mad. And there he murdered his own family. This was Hera's way of getting back at Zeus. To make an innocent good man kill his own family. The wife's uncle was King Eurytheus. He told Hercules to do twelve impossible labors. To cleanse this land of his sins. Many of these were to slay or capture powerful beasts or nearly impossible things. One of these things was to get my sister's girdle. The queen of the Amazons? Well, co-queen along with yours truly. Anyways, the poor girl was so entranced by him, so love-struck she gave him the damn girdle. Oh boy, was our mother cross. How could you give your underwear to some brute, she said. Oh, it was a whole thing. So yes, Hercules completed the challenges, and then he was welcomed among the gods, including my father. Indeed, young Trojan, even the most humble man or woman can grow up to be strong, to be the fiercest ruler, or the most gentle soul. I find enjoyment in that story. It fills me with hope. Oh, that. I am Penthesilia, queen of the Amazons. Maybe you've heard of me. What did Hector tell you? Were you not informed of the situation? Were you just taken as a slave onto a boat and made to wash dishes? Well, isn't that bull? How dare they? You're strong. Look at you. Your chest heaving, your arms thick with hours of labor. And look at me. Your eyes filled with fire, passion, and all the things that makes a hero. Yes, young Trojan. You have the potential to be the greatest hero of this war. After we are done here, I will be sure to train you. Whatever weapon you want. Personally, a sword or claws works with me. Unlike my sister, I'm not great with a bow. Mm. About my sister, she has passed on. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. Her sweet smile, her bravery. She used to keep me in check. I was always the hothead between us. It's alright, I've moved on. Say, Trojan. Assuming Prince Hector does let you join the battle tomorrow, I would like you to do something for me. That wound on your hand, is it fresh? Mm -hmm. 
Give me your hand. This is an old tradition, a blood ritual. We now have each other's blood in our veins. We will ride into battle, and we will fight together, united as one. Now, there is no reason to fear battle. You have the blood of an Amazon, warriors to rival the Spartans themselves. Speaking of which, I can't wait to fight one head on. Such honorable people they are. If I weren't already fighting them, I would have sparred. Well, you're looking better now. You don't have that look of sadness anymore. Are you getting excited? This should be a thrill of a lifetime. Into the fray to defend your home, hmm? I know I'm excited myself. Oh, why? Simple. I hear they're sending over a very powerful warrior. One who cannot be defeated. Trained by the centaur Shiran himself. Achilles. No known weaknesses, son of a god. If I can't fight Hercules, I can fight Achilles. And prove my worth as the greatest warrior who ever lived. N what? Oh, if I were to die? That's the thing. You can ask that about anything. What if Poseidon himself decided to take you into the sea? What if Zeus grew tired of your existence and threw a bolt to your head? You can't always plan for things. You don't see things coming sometimes. All you can do is take it as it comes. You can't live your life afraid. It's scary to take the first step, yes, because you don't know if you can turn back. But if you don't press on, you cannot improve. Hmm. But even I find I become afraid. I don't know what will happen to my sisters should we lose this war. But we have to fight. We have to protect Troy. We need to protect all these innocent people. Because if not us, who else? <clears throat> I find, however, taking the first step with a friend makes things easier. Thank you, young Trojan, for agreeing to this. I gain strength from my sisters, but I am their leader. I love them dearly. But I cannot confide, or they will question my judgment. You are not my sister in arms. You and I will go into battle together as friends. <laughs> Rest well, Trojan. Tomorrow we go to war. However, should you find Achilles, save him for me. I want to fight him myself. The greatest warrior in history and her dishwashing friend. That shall be our legend. Good night, Trojan. Oh, I'll give Hector a black eye for putting you on dish duty.